OK then folks, I'm now going to do a flow analyzer check, which is what you have to do on every appliance now. It's now um, legislation, you've got to do it. So it's part of the CPA1 course. We're looking at flow temperatures as well. If you install appliance, you've got to do the flow temperatures. The heating, 85 degrees. The flow returns will be within 11 degrees. Modern condensing boilers are lower than that. The hot water is 65 degrees. Modern combination boilers now only heat the water up 40, 40 degrees. So if the water at the cold main is what the water regulations stipulate, 20 degrees, it will make it 60. Okay. When you do a gas rate, always put it on high fire. So put it in hot water mode. So do it so the burner is working, it's hardest. So it's burning the most gas possible. So you get a proper reading. If you can't put in high fire, maybe there's a service mode button where you have to press say, two buttons at once, for example. So what we're looking at is carbon dioxide of 8 to 10%, oxygen at 5%, and a ratio 0 0.008 has to be below that legally. What is good is to be below 0 0.004. That is very good if it's below that. If it's in between these figures, then the appliance really needs to be stripped down and serviced and cleaned. On a condensing boiler, you have to buy a service kit for that. Okay. So here's my flue analyzer. Flue analyzers now can do a variety of jobs. You can use them to do a temperature reading on the flow or return, which is good to check your circulation. For an appliance to work efficiently, there has to be good circulation. If the pipe work for the heating system is incorrect, there's no point heating the hot water up, the heating water up, sorry, to 85 degrees and then the water returning at 60. You've got a massive difference there to heat up, haven't you? So the better the pipe work insulation, the more efficient the appliance. This is tubing, so you can use it as a, as a manometer or a U-gauge. These appliances have to be recalibrated every year. So prior to using these, you always set it on the right gas. So I put this on natural gas. With these you can find out the flu temperature, the ratio, the oxygen, and you can also do an efficiency rating. So prior to putting it in, what I've done is I've purged it in fresh air, and you need to do it so the oxygen level is at 20.9%. So I'm going to take the sampling port out. On this appliance, it's by using an Allen key. I'm going to slide inside. I've got the appliance working already for about 10 minutes, because I've just cleaned the appliance. All the debris and dirt in there, obviously being burned and blown around by the fan. So it's had a good 10 minutes to be satisfied, so we'll see what type of reading we get. This appliance doesn't have a service mode, so I put the hot water on. You can tell from the parts per million in the, the carbon dioxide level there that it's, it's getting a stabilised reading. So the CO parts per million is 14, which is extremely good. Some appliances say it's got to be below 200. The ratio is 0 0.0002, which is absolutely superb. The CO2 now is just coming to about 6%. So I am extremely satisfied with that. So now I'm going to remove the floor analyzer. You have to be cautious because it's extremely hot. You can save your setting and send it to the printer so you can print it off and stick it on. On this occasion, I'm going to write down the readings.
So now as I turn the appliance off, I let it purge in clean air. And it will have 20 seconds now to purge it off. Always remember to put the air test sampling point back. What I'm going to do now, we know the appliance is burning correctly and efficiently, we know the carbon monoxide readings are good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to test a, with a safety device, I'm going to check the rectification. I'm going to turn the gas off, and then what I'll be looking for is the ignition to light up again. So if I turn the gas off, it's stopping the conduct of AC to DC using the flame. So there we go, I'm going to turn the supply off underneath the appliance now.